Hello, my name is Eduardo Noel. It is May 23rd, 2020. This is my video for um, final results of my experiments that will be graded. Um, this um, video I'm doing it for is for lab two, aseptic um, techniques and culture microbes for bio 225. On my card, it indicated when I started um, my first experiment, when I should have stopped, and then my second experiment when I should stop. And um, here's my card. On my experiment, here are my results for um, experiment one. As you could tell, um, it, it was able to separate, uh, separate um, the bacteria. And here's my E. coli. It also separated both of them are clear and all um, and it was and everything um, nothing floated up to, uh, up to the um, to the broth it's um, to the bottom and the last one Cerevisia uh, sorry um, don't know how to pronounce it, it um, liquid was kind of cloudy compared to the last two but the um, solids um, solid state on the bottom um during my experiments with the plate i noticed that um my first one was e coli here's my e coli was um specimen for on my plate so here's e coli i even labeled it here's the front and here's the back of it uh, what got me, um, the problem I had was the confusion where I would start with my first quadrant and where I stop, especially if I w would have to step out for a second or start thinking about or start reading of something, I get distracted. Or even though I get distracted, I, find, I, I lose track of where I start. So what I did to help me figure out my problem was I labeled it in four quadrants. One, two, three, four. Um, this is um, the epidermatitis. Here's my results. So quadrant one is where I started, and then quadrant two is where I spread it over to quadrant three, and then spread it to quadrant four. By doing this, it helped me a lot, Where, especially on my final results, where um, how my cultures are actually growing and where I started and where I finish. And here is the Serviacea. Same thing I did quadrant one, two, three, four. Ooh. Quadrant one, <laughs> two, three, four. Um, here are my results. I'm not so sure if you can see it clearly like this or this. Um, but it helped me a lot in regards of finding out where I start, where I need to go next, and where I should finish at. Um, my experiment was very successful. Um, I was able, with the I didn't need more time to grow or incubate the the bacterias like the like lab number three lab number two was everything was on the dot by the by the time frame that is required by the for the experiment everything grew on time everything separated on time it was for some reason it was just a perfect experiment for me um with this experiment it actually tells me the well it um the more you spread from one side to to the end, it gets less and less. And towards the end, it helps you visualize what that bacteria really is. It tells you, because it separates it from a big colony to a small, small size pin. Those are pinpoint size dots. It tells you a whole lot of that bacteria itself by the shapes, color, margin, and, um, yeah, shapes, color, margin. Um, 
So by isolating it from spreading from one quadrant to the next to the next to the next, it helps me find out what is the bacteria really is and how it looks like, how, what color of it, and um, and segregating it from the big source to, sing, to a single source of colony. Um, so this one was very successful for me. Um, but it also thinks about, it also makes me think about, especially with the COVID-19 going on, you know, bacteria spread so easily now. Like if with this bacteria that we have, you know, it's, it's amazing how one little thing could just be spread so easily. Um, and it could be there for a while. And let's just say you're holding on a railing, um, and you're trying to walk down from it. Can you just imagine a person who was sick and you hold it from where they first cough and lay their hands on the railing and s slowly walk down while holding the railing? I, you know, you'll get the germs, the virus, bacteria, whatever the patient, um, the person has on you automatically because you're holding on that railing and you st you start from where the bacteria really are, like the main, um, where a lot of them are, until all the way to the end. Because either way, from the beginning to the end, you'll get that bacteria or virus from that person that used it prior who was sick. Um, the errors I made on this experiment where I had it improved right away was the quadrant, where I needed to start from the beginning, where did I end up, and how to, um, cause it, because basically when I started spraying them, I couldn't really see anything because it's the clear liquid, it's clear specimen that I'm spreading through the plate. And sometimes I could see it, sometimes I can't. So um, it was easier for me to label it into four different quadrants. So knowing the fact where I should start and where I should end um, helped me a lot, especially with the results of the, of the last two um, petri dish I have it was able um it helps me isolate from where all the cultures start first started to the end and helps me isolate it by itself like not like the E. coli it was very hard to start where where um figure out where I first started but looking at it closely I think I know where I ended but I'm not so sure that either quadrant two or quadrant three I don't know which I'm kind of a bit confused where is quadrant two or quadrant three. So that's why I created the um, the lines to separate all four quadrants. Um, that's the error I made um, so far. This is the experiment that I noticed that the pipettes were actually labeled um, by MLs. So um, I learned that from my mistakes and um, what I what I also noticed is different wording, not different wording, but um, in regards of the algar and how many petri dish on sixty m sixty millimeters, how many one valve algar can be spread. I mean, um, from experiment two to three, it was two different um, information. So I was very bit confused of that and I hope I have enough algar for the following experiments that we have for this class. Um, other, I, as of right now, I mean, to me, this experiment, um, experiment two was very successful than experiment three for me. I really, um, the results were very successful. I like the result, the outcome of it, of this experiment. Um, made me understand and especially how I will need to relate it, how it is from with our COVID-19 to how it is um, and how bacteria can be spread so easily, especially aerosol. Um, this is my video for, for experiment two, uh, aseptic technique and cultural microbes for bio 225. Thank you so much.